It's touted as an unconventional education for unconventional kids. We're talking comedy, and it often seems most comedians kind of stumble into it. But it is a skill. It's cultivated over years and years. Kids in comedy is helping teens get an early start to that. And joining us now to yuck it up, let's see, comedian Zach Rosenfeld and master of ceremonies and kids in comedy workshop leader David Smithman. It's really good to have you guys here. Thank you for having me. Nice to be here. So you're funny. Is that the hardest thing when someone comes up to you and says, oh, I hear you're funny? I mean, looks aren't everything. But. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Like, how do you, are, are you just naturally funny or how does it kind of come along? I mean, as a little kid, I was, I was just told that I was funny a lot and eventually I decided, you know what, if I'm, if I'm funny, I might as well do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go up there and give it a shot. I, I always think comedians are always talking about how, it seems anyway, that they're kind of tortured and you know, right. they, they, they use their pain to, for their material. Right. You guys don't seem tortured and, and pain. I mean, we do a good job of hiding it. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Rep repression we, becomes a big part of life <laughs> in broadcasting, too. Yeah, right? on the inside, we're really. Um, just hard to go mess. home and cry, and <laughs> yeah, you're just we a big mess. Do a lot of crying, um, a lot of fetal position, yes. you know. Um, but yeah, it's like, I mean, good comedy comes out of. Uh, pain, I guess, uh, or, or like hard things, things that are hard to deal with. Like Zach does a, a good bit about um, having dyslexia. Yeah, I, I um, when I was younger, I was, um, I, people told me I had dyslexia and mm -hmm. I was like, had to uh, deal with it. So Tough I, to hear, yeah. yeah, I mean, I had to uh, go to a tutor for years and uh, so I decided eventually when I, fully compensated, I made a bit about it, and I did a five minute bit about being dyslexic. And it made you feel better and stronger about it. Uh, yeah. Which yeah. kind of takes it into this program. So you work with teens, and yep. you kind of, so it's not just comedy, it's not just yucks, I mean, there is something else that they learn out of this process. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like, I mean, like, we kind of teach comedy, but also, like, the best comedy comes out of truth and honesty, and so we teach them when they're like, you know, 15, uh, it's not really, easy to be honest about yourself when you're 15 because mm -hmm. you're in middle school or high school and you know if you have a funny haircut kids will make fun of you or if you are dyslexic kids will make fun of you and so what we teach them is you know if you make jokes about having dyslexia before they can mm -hmm. then it doesn't matter you know um, you kind of own it. Now you, uh, when I think of you know breaking into the nightclub circuit, you know, I'm thinking like amateur nights and clubs at 2 a.m. and sort of you know those sort of joints. Are you hanging out at comedy clubs at, at your young age? I'm a little worried about um, I mean, you could. I mean, if Gotham's like one of those places at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, I mean, if that's considered like the nightclub-y style, then Not yes. Okay, but I mean. Yeah. Um, the older, the older kids at Kids in Comedy are doing that type of stuff, and I plan to soon, very mm -hmm. soon. Maybe in this summer, too, I've been thinking about doing clubs in, like, near my house and around and just watching and also performing and practicing new material and just, like, learning from it. Maybe there's a lesson. I think one of the things, you know, when we're growing up, we're always scared a little bit of maybe of failing and stumbling, especially as a t being a teenager is tough. We all know that. <laughs> Definitely. Do you ever bomb? And what would be your advice to someone who, no matter what they do, be a comedy or something, just kind of bombs. I mean, it's like comedy is, it's about having fun. And if you just have fun on the stage and you enjoy yourself, then you know what? It doesn't matter what the audience thinks. Just enjoy it, enjoy your time on the stage, and you'll be great. And don't take yourself too seriously. Of course. I mean, yeah. never. Well, we can relate to that, WNBC. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Great to have you. Thank Sounds you. like a terrific program. And we'll be right back. Hope you stay with us.